It's quite a birthday present. As Billy Caldwell turns 13 today, the Home Secretary announced victory for him, his mum and fellow campaigners. GPs up and down the country will now be able to prescribe medicinal cannabis. Everything that we've been campaigning for this last number of years has, has now, at last, it's here. And it's in our country, not just for Billy, but for all the other families who desperately need this medicine. There was public outcry at the site of Charlotte Caldwell returning from Canada with medicinal cannabis, only to have it confiscated. Billy has to have that medicine. He has to get his medicine. When Billy deteriorated, deprived of his medicine, the government relented. At first, individuals were allowed medicinal cannabis if approved by a special panel. But in recent weeks, the case for full-on legalisation was boosted with the government's own drug advisers backing medicinal cannabis. Today, the Home Office moved. It became very clear to me and, and to the Home Secretary that the rules and processes that have stood in place for 40 years uh, feel out of date and are causing unnecessary suffering. The status of cannabis will now be changed. It had been judged to have no therapeutic value, but its use was allowed for research. But now, doctors will be able to prescribe medicinal cannabis provided products meet safety standards. Regulatory bodies will define what constitutes a cannabis-derived medicinal product, and doctors will start to prescribe these products in the autumn. Campaigners tonight welcomed the government's move, but raised fears the types of medicinal cannabis approved will be so narrowly defined, many patients will still go without. But for now, Billy Caldwell starts his teenage years able to get his medicine from a senior doctor, not a customs official. Alec Stratton, ITV News.